You want to get away from the rat race. You go on cruising. No busy marinas or anchorages full of Yahoo charter boats for you. You want to get away from it all. Visit the far flung places of the planet. Search out the best dive sites. Sunbake on uninhabited islands. And catch a dinner in the sea. You might even adventure to the poles. Visit the penguins and the whales. But you still want the comforts of home. And the safety of an excellent seaworthy vessel. So it's an explorer yacht for you. But which explorer yacht? Here are my top five explorer yachts under 100 feet. Let's go. The Bering 77 is a compact explorer yacht. It's powerful, seaworthy, and roomy. It has lines common to most expedition yachts, a high flared bow, trawler style pilot house, and an extensive boat deck where it can store up to two dinghies. It features robust construction with an aluminium superstructure and 10 millimeter thick steel hull. It is a full displacement vessel for a smooth ride. On the top deck is a hardtop flybridge. It is very spacious and has a dining table for 12. The pilot house is fitted to commercial standards and can feature an adjacent owner's berth if desired. The boat has full redundancy for safety and peace of mind. The salon is spacious and can cater for formal dining for up to 12 and includes generous relaxation spaces. The rear cockpit is well protected and is ideal for al fresco dining for up to 10. At the stern is a large swimming platform which is perfect for bathing and water toys. The yacht can be configured with three or four staterooms. The three stateroom version comes with a full beam master. Power is by two Cummings QSM 11 diesels that give a cruising range of 4,000 nautical miles at eight knots. The world is your playground. The Bering 77 gives smooth and quiet passage along with reliability and comfort. Perfect for exploring out of the way destinations. On first viewing, the Lynx Crossover 27 may look like a shadow vessel with expansive rear deck and large storage areas, but it also includes four cabins plus separate crew quarters. Construction is aluminium superstructure and steel hull. The large rear deck is nearly 70 square meters, which can accommodate two large tenders, which are launched by a 3.6 ton capacity crane. Once the tenders are launched, freestanding sun lounges and other furniture convert this area into a max size beach club. Beneath the aft deck is a large toy garage in which to store a full suite of water toys, kayaks, windsurfers, sea bobs and scuba equipment. The garage opens onto a large swim deck. The vessel is propelled by Twin Cat C12-9s which put out 850 horsepower giving a top speed of 14 knots. Cruising speed is 12.5 knots and at 10 knots you can get a range of 3,000 nautical miles. For adventure and hardcore water sport fun, it's hard to beat the Lynx Crossover 27. The new Marine 26 XP is available in both displacement and semi-displacement versions. The displacement version comes with a pair of man 560 engines, which gives a range of 3,500 nautical miles at eight knots. The semi-displacement model is powered by a pair of manned 1200 horsepower engines that give the boat a top speed of 23 knots. The bold exterior features a wide vertical bow. Angular windows give the vessel an aggressive look as well as creating a light and airy interior. Layouts can be three, four or five cabins. The spacious flybridge is nearly 100 square meters in area and has two generous seating areas. It is served by a wet bar and there is ample room for sun lounges. The salon features a lounge space and dining area served by a comprehensive galley. The new Marine 26 XB is a compact and capable explorer yacht. It will get you to the best secluded anchorages. Yeah. If you're enjoying this video, give me a like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear what you've got to say. The Nord Harbin 64 has a high bow and generous freeboard, giving a voluminous interior. It also gives 
excellent sea keeping and safety. The engine room and water and fuel tanks are positioned low in the vessel for superior stability. The main salon opens up to the rear cockpit, giving spacious indoor-outdoor living. The cockpit features two sitting areas with tables. The galley is well equipped with abundant storage and bench space. A sub-zero side-by-side -side fridge is standard as is an ice maker. There is also a general electric four burner electric range. The owner's stateroom is a midship. It has a large king size bed, two hanging loggers, desk and luxurious ensuite. There are two guest staterooms forward which share a large head. The pilot house is a midship. Two helm chairs give comfortable access to a full featured helm. Above the pilot house is a spacious flybridge which is great for outdoor entertaining with a U-shaped setting that seats four. The vessel has a cruising speed of 10.5 knots, giving a range of 1,600 nautical miles. At nine knots, the range is 3,000 nautical miles. The Newark Harbin 64 is a robust long-range cruiser, which will get you to the places less traveled. The Darwin 86 is a full displacement tri-deck explorer yacht. It features aluminium superstructure and steel hull which give lightweight and strength. It is available in four and five cabin versions which include two crew cabins. A well equipped galley is located adjacent to the crew mess. The main salon area has a large lounge area for relaxation as well as formal dining for eight. At the after yacht is a large swim platform that includes a carbon fibre transform lift that can serve as a dynamic beach club as well. The cockpit is large with informal seating and alfresco dining for eight. On the bridge deck, there is space for a generous size tender with a 1.2 ton crane for launching. Informal furniture for relaxation, dining and sunbathing can be added once the tender is launched. The flybit features a massive sun pad, informal dining and helm station. There is also an outdoor kitchen complete with barbecue. The yacht has a phenomenal range of 7,200 nautical miles at nine knots. Power is from twin cat C12 diesels giving 385 horsepower each. There are three generators giving full redundancy. The pilot house is highly specced with all the navigation equipment necessary to travel to far fun places. Behind the pilot house, there is a very comfortable sky lounge. The Darwin 86 is a comfortable and full featured yacht, ideal for exploring the planet. Yeah. Which Explorer yacht do you think you'd like to explore the planet on? Let me know in the comments. And remember, if you want to get crazy about boats, click like and subscribe. To find out about more amazing cutting edge boats, watch this video now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.